So then Juliet is right there, so knocking on her door is really not going to do anything. So I guess we'll just go to the shower. Oh, there she is. Okay, so she hasn't left uh, the dorm yet. Um, I'm assuming that might have been Victoria. Out of order. Being used. There's one we can use. But since this is our first time here. Otter power? I'm so not there. Uh, still recruiting, I see. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Oh, you used that joke last time. Come up with another pun. I know you can do it. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. And that's exactly the same as the uh, poster in the uh, bathroom in the main Blackwell uh, building. Oh. Mulder's been here. Hi, Kate. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay. So, I think... Yep. We can actually get down to uh, business, so to speak and just get ourselves ready for the day. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. get dressed and go give back Kate's book. The tigress has not changed her stripes that much since she got a taste of humility last time. But I guess we can't expect a miracle. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. 
Hello? Water? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Our bad. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Yeah. About this. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Yeah, she actually went out of her way to create a whole new domain name just to put the video up. This is a new level of cruelty here. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. So Kate's problems continue. And now there seems to be some kind of video floating around, although we, at this point we have no idea whether it's authentic or not. have to get Kate's book and give it back to her. Oh, Juliet's gone. Is she in her room? Nope. She must have stepped out. Dana's still there. Anything new to say, Brooke? I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, our music was off. Thought it'd be nice to walk in and still hear it again. Um, book, 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 book. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Um, down here? And nothing here. No. It's around here somewhere. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. <laughs> Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Uh, Max, you are just so clumsy sometimes. Be gone, foul soft drink. Okay, try it again. Aha, you <coughs> sneaky book. You're mine. Apologies for the coughing. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oop. Fair enough. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Hey, I got no beef with shirt and jeans. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Certainly seems that way. It's got another text from... Oh, from a private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Gee, I wonder who that could be, Nathan. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Well, at the moment, the only people who would have reason to, uh, to send some nasty stuff your way is Nathan, Victoria... Or, um, Dave Ma uh, Madsen? Uh, I think that's his name. It slips in my memory right now. The security guard, a.k.a. Um, but I don't think for the latter two that really meshes with the tone of the text. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh boy. Certainly looks gloomy in here. Mirror is covered. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? 
Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Oh, we're gonna hear a postcard. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1, 5. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, that's nice to know. And she actually looks happy here. We have yet to see her with that kind of expression. Picture of Jesus, it looks like. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. <laughs> and indeed, you can see that she's got a cross right over there. So, um, seems to be uh, probably Catholic, would be my guess. It's, you know, it's not a guarantee, but. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Let's take a photo. Bunny. <laughs> like how his ears perked up right there. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. I thought she might say something different. We have a letter. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you've done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church that your soul to, for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Uh. Okay. Step one. If she was so devout, she would never have looked at that video in the first place. Step two. She's being very, very cruel about this. So apparently, uh, Kate has a very loving, caring father and a very vicious aunt. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Uh, this looks like an uh, iPad here, or some kind of tablet computer. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss the matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Nice to know that everyone in her family is just jumping to her side. It's got to be really pressing on someone when their family immediately jumps to just accepting the, the worst possible scenario about you. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. That is another bad sign. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Well, again, we don't know for sure at this point. Although, from what Victoria was saying, there might have been drugs involved. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And then crossed out is a Proverbs verse, twenty one fifteen. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evil doers. Given the fact that it's crossed out, I think Kate is uh, thinking that there is no justice in the world at the moment. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Hmm. 
Very um, restrained clothing, that's for sure. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Yeah, contrast this with the drawing on the other side of the room. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Uh, much less formal setting with her and her sisters here. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I find that hard, very unlikely. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Yeah, even more, sounds even more like some very strong drugs then. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Hmm. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh-huh. I see. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here, near my bag. <sighs> so... The video footage itself, in this case, might actually be authentic. But this seems like something that Nathan was behind. So, Max? Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. 
Should she go to the police immediately or look for proof? Hmm. Well, if it was Max, given that she has, you know, the super re rewind power, you know, I think I'd probably be more comfortable if I was someone else telling Max to say, let's look for proof first because of what she can do. But we're talking about a person with no superpowers. And I think at this point, probably better to get this out into the open. If nothing else, if she goes to the police and tells her story, she could, you know, have that kind of, have that story on the record and uh, maybe get a little less flack from her ultra conservative church background on this. Although I still say that uh, if she's afraid that her church members are going to see this video, she should rethink about her fellow church members. So let's say go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Well, that's true. But at the same time, <laughs> uh, Max, Nathan threatened you uh, quite forcefully in the parking lot. He's clearly unstable. Um, and even though we reround time, so he actually didn't shoot Chloe, uh, he would have. So maybe it's still, you know, I think maybe it's about time that this stuff started getting uh, public. Even if it does not immediately take them down, it may start some people asking questions. And that may be what we need right now. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Something is rotten in the state of Blackwell here. Okay, yes, I was about to say, now I think is about the time where Chloe bugs us that we're not at the diner yet. <laughs> Max, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> this must be a pet peeve of Chloe. Dana doing anything different? Nope, still hanging out. So, off we go. I see Samuel. Oh, he took down the scaffolding. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Yeah, it does look nice up there. Anything back in the storage room? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Hmm. Maybe just stuff that he's found that's been lost or left behind and is just interested in it, maybe? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Uh, maybe just to remember her by. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Now that's interesting. 
something to ask Samuel about. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. I definitely won't play with this thing again. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Yeah, why not? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Give the squirrel a little room. Come on. Get our squirrel photo for the day. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. You can tell that uh, Max hasn't been to uh, college campuses yet. It is actually very easy to get close to squirrels. Just depends on where you are. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Looking very zen as usual there in Samuel. The birds are flocking around Samuel. He's got the seeds. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. And because we uh, saw the poster in the pictures, we can ask about Rachel, but we'll ask about the other stuff first. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Well, I have some friends who would appreciate that. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Well, apologies for being nosy, Samuel. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hmm. <laughs> All that cryptic speech, you wonder if Samuel is suspicious uh, about what Max is maybe able to do. There's Taylor again. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Oh, boy. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. 
I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Ah. Let's rewind a bit and try that again, shall we? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's skip to the chase, shall we? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. A little bit of a quick turnaround there, but I'll take it. Again, we get the uh, impression that Victoria, while initially seen to be the, the common trope of just the bully, you know, capital B, may actually have a little bit more complexities to her character than just that. Max, check it out. I see a Warren. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. And he's got a Schrodinger's cat shirt. Very nice. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, <laughs> she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> kind of like that response. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He seems to be getting psycho in general. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Ooh. We have a party tonight. Well, that said, we do owe Nathan. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I got no problem with the uh, old school Planet of the Apes film anyway. Alright, so we're actually going to, I believe, skip through going to the courtyard and I think just go straight to the bus here. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel.
cast some light, it'll be all right. Cast some light. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Ah, and we can tell that this is taking place in 2000 and. Uh, 13 or 13, 14? I think it's 2013. Look at those gas prices. Never thought they'd go the other way, did you? <laughs> Who knows for how long? But, uh, hey, what can I say? It's 2015 or 16 right now. <laughs> and uh, it's less than half of that where I am right now. All right. Well... This is going to be a whole other set of screens. Uh, we're going to have to wander around outside the diner and then inside the diner to actually meet Chloe. So I think I'm going to wrap up this recording session here. Seems as good a place as any. And when we come back, we'll do some more exploring around this old Two Whales diner, open 24 hours. And we'll answer Chloe's text. Until then, fellow adventurers, take care. <laughs>